I'm excited about this work program mm -hmm. because I believe that the world needs to reduce the existing poverty and inequality in the world. You can only do that if you transform economies, if you promote inclusion, and if you make sure that your development path is sustainable. As development takes place, the economy moves from being a low productivity economy to a high productivity economy. People move from jobs with very little remuneration and outcome to better jobs, more income paying jobs. Inclusion is both social, political, and economic. Inclusion is about how marginalized groups get included in the overall development process. It's one thing that development takes place and is positive on average, but we need to have everybody on board. Development economists have to be helping, have to be engaging on how the world shifts from the present high intensity CO2 emitting development path to a path where much less CO2 emission takes place for the energy that poor people need for their development process. We also have three concerns. Africa is first on that list. Africa and development in Africa is a key UN concern. It is a concern for wider as a research institute. It's well recognized that the development challenges that Africa is facing are some of the most difficult ones in the world we see today. The reason Ebola outbreak is just one illustration of this. I believe that development economists have to address the issue of gender equality. Gender equality is not just a question of human rights. It's also a question of human rights. But gender equality can lead to the unleashing of the productive potential of women. And this is the way to make sure that the development process gets dynamic and forward moving. The architecture of aid is changing. There are new actors, new countries, new donors, but also private agents are now playing a big role. Mobilizing own resources is the end goal of any development process, that you're capable of generating and mobilizing resources within your own country. Aid can support that process. We want to try to find out how aid best support that process. In addition, there are some countries still suffering war, destabilization. They are what we sometimes refer to as the fragile countries. They cannot, at this stage, generate their own resources. They need external support to help mobilize and move forward. Us, an international research institute that tries to address key issues, WIDA has to try to come up with an ambitious, forward-looking program where we can hopefully generate information and advice for our key stakeholders, our, our three core audiences, including researchers, including policymakers in developing countries who are really at the forefront of the development process and the international development community at large.